Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the OnePlus 10 Pro. Now you can pick this one up today from Best Buy, T-Mobile, Amazon, or OnePlus.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 900 bucks. I repeat, 900 bucks. Now I'm not gonna waste your time going through the specs. Y'all seen me unbox the Chinese version? Well, today we got the global version. So for this video, I'm just gonna see the difference between color OS and oxygen OS. We'll do a camera test, a display test, a speaker test, we'll test the processing speed, and of course my favorite, the RDA test. All right, first things first, shout out to White Shoes back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love white shoes. my white shoes. Calm down. Now, shout out to OnePlus for sending me this phone. This is the presentation for the one that you're gonna get. Now, this is my Chinese version. This is the OnePlus reviewer's version. <laughs> Let's see what it is, okay? Big giant red box, okay? A lot of this, a lot of uh, box going on here. Okay, this is gonna be your OnePlus 10 Pro. Now, let's see. Let's see any differences in the box. Okay, the Chinese version has the tall box. USA version has the shorter box, but if you notice, Chinese version says OnePlus 10 Pro. The global version, OnePlus 10 Pro 5G. Now, this is a big difference. All right, you're getting 5G. Let's see what else you get in here. Now, this is gonna be, should be some cases. Okay, some Hasselblad stuff. We'll check that out later. A couple of cases on deck. We'll pop those up in a minute. Okay, shoes, do your thing. Okay, let me grab a little unboxing knife. What we got today? Zombie killer? Okay, here we go. Rah. One more. Rah. Okay, OnePlus 10 Pro 5G. Now, on a side note, I know some of y'all are gonna say 900 bucks, the price is TGH. No, the price is just right. Okay, this is actually one of my top five Android phones. As of right now, number one, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra 5 Gangster, Alpha Omega Supreme, AKA Galactus. Number two, I'm going with the Oppo Find X5 Pro. Number three, the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Number four, OnePlus 10 Pro. And number five, the Vivo IQ9 Pro. Okay, so this is a heavy hitter phone. It's actually cheaper than the S22 Ultra Galactus. It's cheaper than the S22 Plus. And these phones, they pretty much do the same thing. Now, of course, the Galaxy does have more features, but the OnePlus is arguably one of the smoothest Android phones out and has one of the dopest cameras. All right, so let's check this one out. Inside the box, okay. Now, so far, this is a nice presentation alert. I like that. Got your usual books and shit. Pluck them and follow them. Of course, you got your OnePlus troll stickers. All right, so OnePlus is doing it big with the presentation. I like that already. Let's see. Now, check this out. Watch my unboxing. All right, if you want to see all of the full specs. But this is a 65-watt fast-charging brick in the box. Okay, 0 to 58%. In 15 minutes, zero to 100%, in about 40 minutes. Okay, fast charging brick in the box, and of course, one of my favorites, the OnePlus 10, uh, OnePlus 10, the OnePlus charging cable. Shrews! <laughs> you see, when I had to take it to the stern voice, you know I ain't playing. Uh, you got the USB Type C, the USB Type C charging cable, and what is this? This looks like OTG. Okay, you got a little. OTG, USB-A to USB Type-C adapter. Real nice. Now, if you buy the Chinese version, this is what it looks like. I noticed a little difference because with the Chinese version, I think it's actually a little bit better. Check this out. The Chinese version does come with a case. Okay, no OTG, but you got a case. I'd rather have the case than the OTG. And one of the differences with the specs, the Chinese version, this one has eight gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage. With the USA version, only eight gigs, 128. Okay, now this is the black version. Woo, okay, let me, let's get a little wipe down on this, hold up. Bang, check this one out. Now, <laughs> shoes is back. This one, let me see. Now this one actually has more of a silky smooth feel to it. I thought the green one had a silky smooth, fools. I thought the green one had a silky smooth feel to it. The black one feels even more silky. Oh, this is incredible. 
Now, we could debate this. Some people don't like, they calling it the stove cameras on the back. I love it. Okay, I love this design. Let me do the smell test on the black one. Mmm! Mmm! This one smells smooth. All right, one thing you can't deny about OnePlus phones is that they're silky smooth. Besides the Pixel, this is one of the smoothest Android phone experiences. Now, on a side note, the Pixel is not in my top five. I'm gonna do a uh, revisit to that phone because they pushed out a whole bunch of updates. I actually like the Pixel now. It's still my work phone, it's always been my work phone, but the fingerprint sensor has gotten a lot better. So the Pixel is a real phone now. <laughs> anyway, let me pause the video, I'll set everything up, and then we'll do a quick breeze through of the OS and see the differences between Color OS and Oxygen OS. Now, personally, I think people was making too much of a big deal about it. A lot of people were saying, oh, I'm not messing with OnePlus no more because they changed the OS from Oxygen OS to Color OS. I actually like Color OS. I deal with a lot of Chinese phones, but we'll see. All right, we'll see. We'll do a little side-by-side -side test, then we'll see. All right, in the meantime, talk amongst yourselves. All right, so I'm in the process of downloading all my apps. So in the meantime, let's take a look at these two cases. First up, this looks like a sandstone case. Let's check it out. Let's see, now I completely missed the mark on that one. <laughs> yeah, now this is the classic OnePlus sandstone case. I love this one, okay? Really simple, just your buttons, cutouts. Buttons, cutouts, little OnePlus logo. Let's go ahead and slap this one on. Now this one gives you a little bit of razivity, so it is Slam Boy certified. Check the buttons on that. There's your buttons. Let's check wireless charge. Okay, let's see, is this charger plugged in? Let's see. Okay, there it is. Wireless charge, nice colorful indicator right there. Actually one color, but very bright. Real nice. Okay, this is the classic OnePlus sandstone case. Now this is the green rubber case that came with the Chinese version. I'll just slap it on so you can see what it looks like. Little sticker struggles right here. Anger level's increasing. Okay. <laughs> okay, now this one, just a little rubber style case. Okay, and we got one more. Now this is the case that I was most interested in. This one looks like a tech case. Okay. Now let's see if I could do this right. Ah, okay. <laughs> Got the giggles today. Now check this one out. Okay, now this one has transparent sides. Not fully transparent, but you can see a little transparency. And look at the back, kind of looks like you can see the chip on the inside. Snapdragon 8 Generation 1, okay. Let's get and drop this on the green one. Oh, this case is kind of sick right here. It does have some razivity. Nice button presses. Now, do we need to check wireless charge? Why not? All right, there it is. This is pretty dope. All right, so this is the tech case and the sandstone case. Now, I'll be back in a few minutes. Let me go ahead and set up this phone, and then I want to see the difference between Color OS and Oxygen OS. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, as usual, let's start off with everything that I don't like. Number one, the price. Now, even though I said earlier the price is just about right, I'm going to have to retract that statement after further review. I'm going to say the price is a little TGH. And if you don't know what that means, that's too goddamn high. Personally, I think this phone should have been 800 bucks, not 900 bucks. Because technically, it is a flagship phone. You got a flagship build quality, flagship processor, flagship cameras, dual speakers, wireless charge, reverse wireless charge, always on display, quad HD display, ridiculous battery with ridiculous battery charging speeds, all of that is good. And if you're on OnePlus Nutsack, you're gonna be fine with that. But there's a few things missing, all right? I know y'all OnePlus fanboys, y'all happy to have Oxygen OS back, but like I said, there's a couple of things missing, such as number two, no IP rating. Now, I know what y'all getting ready to say, so stop typing. I know everybody's seen the YouTube videos, somebody dunking this in the water, and y'all gonna say, oh, OnePlus is just being cheap. They don't wanna pay for IP rating. That's all fine and dandy. But if you're spending 900 bucks on a phone, I want my IP rating in writing. 
Okay, I want it on the box. I want it on the spec sheet. So this way I'm comfortable dunking it in the water. I'm not just going to be taking somebody's word from YouTube who got lucky and dunked it in the water and nothing happened to this. You never know. Okay, people just be getting lucky. How many times you drop a phone in the water that doesn't have water resistance and it still works? That's called getting lucky. That doesn't mean it has IP rating. Okay, so like I said, for 900 bucks, I want my IP rating in writing. Next. Now, this is part of the reason why I had to subtract my, <laughs> my rating and bring it down to a little TGH with the price. No expandable memory. Now, I know what you're going to say. A lot of these flagship phones right now don't have expandable memory. That's cool. Which brings me to my next point. No expandable memory coupled with only 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. That ain't enough. I, I'm sorry, bro. That is not enough for a $900 phone. That's why I say it should have been 800 bucks, then 900 for 12 gigs of RAM, 256, like the Chinese version, 256, and then maybe 1,000 bucks for 12 gigs, 512 gigs of storage, and then maybe 1,100 bucks. Give us a big boy. Y'all seen the Red Magic phone the other day? Give us a big boy, 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of storage. I'll gladly pay 1,100 uh, 1, bucks. But as of right now, 900 bucks for 8 gigs, 128 gigs of storage with no expandable memory, that ain't enough. And on the side note, I like talking with two hands, but white shoes is in my way. I can't give y'all my two, all right, shoes, get out of here. All right, and I can give y'all my two hand activity. All right, let me try that again. All right, so eight gigs for 128 gigs of storage, that ain't enough. Next, always on display. Now this brings me back to my original argument why a lot of y'all fanboys was like, oh, I need Oxygen OS, and I was right there saying, I like Color OS better. This is why. You see what Color OS, look at my always on display. Okay, custom picture of white shoes. And with the global version, you get the stock, the stock OnePlus always on displays. Now I'm gonna go through the settings in a minute and show you what I'm talking about. You can't put your custom image as an always on display. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like my phone looking like anybody else's phone. I want when you when you pick up my phone, you're gonna see a picture of shoes. As annoying as she is, I still like to have her picture on deck. I like that customization. All right, so no customizable, always on display, not fully customizable. Next, no. Now I'm gonna call this a Dex-like feature. No Samsung Dex-like feature, and what I mean by that is being able to wirelessly pair your phone to a TV and use the phone as a laptop. Now, Xiaomi has a feature like that. Samsung has wireless decks. For 900 bucks, I think every phone needs to kind of find a way to have that feature. And if you've never seen my videos on Samsung, watch any one of my, watch my Galaxy S22 Ultra review, and watch the little segment when I showed Samsung decks. That's why Samsung has their foot on everybody else's neck in the Android market because of features like wireless decks. And this phone doesn't have, I'm not gonna call it wireless decks, I'm gonna say a wireless decks like feature. A way to wirelessly pair your phone to a monitor and then use your phone for other stuff and use the monitor as a separate computer. That is such an underrated feature. Now, of course, I do have some petty gripes. No headphone jack, that shit's whack, hashtag bars. I know somebody's gonna say, why you keep talking about headphone jacks? You seen the Red Magic 7 Pro yesterday? Okay, six. that one has 18 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage, and a headphone jack. Okay, so hashtag keep the headphone jacks alive. I just like them. Next, no IR blaster. On Chinese phones, IR blasters should be mandatory. Now, personally, I think they should be mandatory on all phones, especially Chinese phones. All right, Xi Jinping, I need you to put the word out. Let all these companies know that we need IR blasters. Now, I know somebody's going to say, oh, who cares about IR blasters? I do. And anybody that has a Xiaomi phone, they care about it too. Next, no thought protection, all right, a.k.a. second space. Now, Samsung is doing secure folders. That's as close as you're going to get to second space. But Xiaomi and Realme and Redmi, they're killing the game right now with second space. Or as I call it, thought protection. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my Realme uh, 9 Pro video, uh, not yeah, the 9 Pro, or watch any one of my Xiaomi videos, especially the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, or even this one right here. This phone is still in heavy rotation. The Xiaomi 10 Pro, 10 Ultra, <laughs> all these names, Ultra Pro, Ultra Pro Maxes. This one right here is still in heavy rotation. Y'all see, I love the transparent back. 
This is my off-camera downstairs in a basement phone. Thought protection, a.k.a. second space. And my last petty gripe is I wish they would have had more color choices. Now, I heard they're supposed to be having a special extreme edition, the white version. That's cool. But at launch, you see Samsung is starting to step up. Apple is already ahead of the curve. We need at least five to six color choices. One of the things that I love about the Galaxy S22 Ultra 5 Gangsta Alpha Omega Supreme AK like this is the color choices. Anytime I've went somewhere, I've never seen two people with the same Galactus. Now I'm walking around with the red one or orange or red, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But they got white, they got burgundy, they got green, they got blue, they got black. All right, one plus, they need to have a red one a white one, this green is sick, this black is lovely, but only two colors at, at launch, chances are if you go somewhere and you're around a bunch of nerds, I right, shout out to the nerd community because that's who's really buying these OnePlus phones, I'm a nerd too, I, I, well, I say that respectfully, shout out to the nerd community, but when you're in a nerd gathering and all your nerd friends pull out their OnePluses, all y'all gonna look the same, all right? half of y'all gonna have green, half of y'all gonna have black. Now, when I hang out with the Galactus Squad, we all got different color Galaxy phones. All right, so OnePlus, we need more color choices at launch. Now, let's talk about everything that I do like. Number one, the build quality. Okay, this build quality is ultra premium. I love this finish on the back. No fingerprints, matte feel. Y'all yeah, know I gotta say it. Feels so good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures. And with the black one, this shit feels like silk. All right, I'm going to keep it real. I love the feeling of this black one. It just feels like silk. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. It's super smooth. You just want to you just want to caress this phone. This is one of those phones that when you pull it out at the dinner table, uh, you make your little calls, check your little Instagram. Afterwards, before you put it down, you caress this. All right, caress it, then place it gently on the table. All right, this is not a slam boy phone. You want to caress this shit. I like it. Okay, as far as the um, look, super premium, super sexy. Like I said earlier, some people, <laughs> it's 50-50. Whether you like the cameras on the back or you hate them, personally, I like them. I like them way better than this. I This, do, this does nothing for me. I know it's practical and all of that, but this just looks better. It just looks, it looks, it looks unique. Okay, every phone looks like this. This one looks unique. And with that LED camera ring, yeah, it kind of looks like a stove, you know? <laughs> Ready to chef up some meals, but it's dope. One plus logo on the back. No problems with the build quality. My only issue is, like I said, I need my IP rating in writing. Okay? So this way anything happens, I could call y'all bluff on it. Right now, if it gets wet, they can say, well, we, we never said anything about IP ratings. Who told you to watch Tech Smash and watch them dunk a phone? Who told you to do that? Nobody ain't tell you to do that. <laughs> we, we never said nothing about that. All right, they could play dumb if they want. When it's in writing, you can say, nah, bro, my shit fell in the water. What up? Anyway. All right, so the build quality is epic. Now, here's one thing I want to show you. Personally, I like... Oh, oh I have too many wrong attempts. All right, let me unplug this. A couple of different ways you can open up the device. Now, of course, you know you can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. You do have always on display. You got face unlock, which is super flawless. Now, I, now you ever notice in, in certain videos, I, I tend to say the same word over and over. I, for some reason, I keep saying super today. <laughs> I'm going to try not to say super anymore. But that's the only way I can describe this face unlock. It is flawless. Let me look, do this from behind the camera. Look how fast it is. No lock screen at all. Bong. Now I'm going to look away. Okay. There's the lock screen. As soon as I look at it, bong. Look at that. And you got your orange screen fingerprint sensor. Now, I had this on the table, so I got too many um, wrong attempts. Let me put it in again. All right. Orange screen fingerprint sensor. Bong. Look at that. Let's do three in a row. Bong. One, two, let's try this one, the American version. Bong. <laughs> Imagine a Google Pixel with a fingerprint sensor like this. <laughs> it might have been in my top five. That's the only thing that was really stopping me. I hate to get off track, but Google pushed out a bunch of updates, and the fingerprint sensor is a lot better. Now, I can't put my fingers like this. It's not great, but it's a lot better. But it's definitely not like this. All right, the OnePlus fingerprint sensor is way superior. The face unlock, Google Pixels don't, don't even have that. That's another thing I hate about that phone. Face unlock on this works super flawless. <laughs> now that I said that, I can't stop saying it. All right, if, uh, if, if I say super three more times, I'm giving away a phone at the end of this video. All right, so y'all keep your notepads out. 
Now, here's one of the things that I wanted to mention. Google, all right, the homepage on the right, uh, when you swipe to the left, I love that. Now, the Chinese version, you're not going to get that. You're going to get this Brino. You can't add the Google homepage to the left. I need this. All right? That's what, I'm so used to doing that. Of course, you could just press the Google button and go to the homepage. Of course, you could just do that. But I like to swipe. Now, let's check this out real quick. This is a OnePlus article. OnePlus 10 review, great Android phone, some problems. Let's see what they say and the problems are. Let's see, slightly disappointing camera performance. Now, this is a perfect example of why, when I do my videos, I never like to really talk about the camera unless it's just egregiously trash, you know? Camera is just like anything in life. Uh, vision is, is all about perception, all right? Everybody's gonna see things differently. Now, the way I look at pictures, I like my pictures to be saturated with colors at night. You might not like that. Personally, I think the low light photos, they look pretty good. But when I post them, you look for yourself. All right? Nobody can't tell you. You might be like, oh, they dope. Somebody gonna be like, they trash. You gotta, you gotta be the judge of that for yourself. In my opinion, the best low light photos are coming from the Oppo X5 Pro and the Galaxy Galactus. But these are pretty good. Let's see, your water resistant, all right, no IP rating. Now this one says no 80 watt fast charge in the USA. Okay, now that's not really a big deal. The Chinese versions, some of them have 80 watt, even though my Chinese version has 65 watts. But 65 watts, we can't really complain about that. When Samsung is coming out with 45 watts and charging 1200 bucks, you can't really complain about that. That's not a big deal, all right? So they being more petty than me. Other than that, let's see, classy design, powerful performance, all day battery life, vibrant screen. I agree with all of those. Okay, now, let me show you the difference between, let's look at the difference between Color OS and Oxygen OS. Here's the first difference you'll notice. Let me zoom in a little bit. When you swipe down, your quick toggles bar is bigger. Uh, you can fit more on one page. This one you're gonna have to have multiple pages. Let's go to settings. Okay. Now, this is why I was saying some of y'all was just really, some of y'all was just really busting OnePlus balls about this, and I think it was unnecessary. Color OS and Oxygen OS, they're pretty much the same, and I'm gonna prove it right now. Let's go to, okay, now we don't need to see why. Let's go to connections and sharing, okay? They look about the same. You see VPN, private DNS. This one has Android Auto. Okay, no Android Auto on the Chinese version. Okay, that's a little difference right there. Okay, okay. Let's go to personalization. Now, this is my thing. I like personalization. Go to wallpapers. Both of them have live. Both of them have static. You notice, no more scrolling. This one has more. So you click on more. You got a thousand and one wallpapers now. This is, just, I'm gonna have to let this load. I'm down here on my Obama Wi Fi, but there's really a million different more wallpapers to choose from. Okay? Let's exit out of that. Let's go to always on display. Now, this is my biggest gripe always on display. Now, with the USA version, you got recent, you got featured, so you got camera, I mean, canvas, Bitmoji, and insight. That's three. This one has your recent. You got personalization, so you got custom patterns, you got checks text and image, portrait silhouette, and emoji, okay? Now this one you have text clock. You got all of these other pictures, a bunch of different Chinese ones to choose from. On the stock Oxygen OS, you got analog clocks, all of the classic OnePlus joints. This one you got system provided, okay? You got image, okay? Add your own personal image, analog clocks, clocks, clocks. <laughs> what did I say, clocks? Analog clock, you got digital clock, Okay, now this one has digital clocks, just the OnePlus One, and this one has online AOD styles. So basically, with Color OS, it's just a little bit more customization. Let's go to icons, okay? Looks about the same, okay? Even the way they look is about the same. Let's exit out of that. Let's go to uh, quick settings. Okay. Now you got just your icon shapes, okay, basically the same. Just a little different format. Colors. Okay, these are the fonts. Let's see, I clicked on the wrong button. Okay, colors, I shoes, rules. Okay, colors basically the same, just they look a little bit different in order. Fingerprint animation. Okay, now, almost the same, but a little bit of different styles. You know, these have like more sparkly ones. This is energy, ripple. But basically, 
you know, you got eight, seven to eight different uh, choices to choose from. Edge lighting, they call it horizon light versus edge lighting, exactly the same, same color choices. And you got video ringtones on color OS, no video ringtones, okay? Font display and size, they look exactly the same. Okay, so basically, now I don't have to go through every single setting, but basically what I'm trying to say is color OS is a little bit more customization. Okay, now let's go to display and brightness. Let's just see one more thing. No, 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 display and brightness. Yeah, you see, they look exactly the same. Okay, so for some of y'all that was saying, oh, I can't buy the OnePlus phones no more because they're using Oxygen and they're using Color OS instead of Oxygen OS. That's cap, all right? That's 100% cap. They're pretty much the same. All, right, all of the settings, pretty much the same. Now, back to the things that I do like. Okay, so we already covered the fingerprint sensor. We covered the face unlock with the global version. Like I said, you got the Google homepage. Let's check the uh, web browsing speed. Go to apple.com. Snapdragon 8 Generation 1. This is flagship status or status, however you want to call it. Okay, this is the full website. Let's see now. We click on this. You got split screen or manage. Let's do split screen. We'll do Facebook on the bottom. Now, I want to try something real quick because I didn't even think about this. Go to apple.com. Let's see if Color OS has um, floating windows. I didn't even check. Okay. Now, of course, I got to put the Chrome browser in here. Look at this. See? Now you got floating windows. No floating windows on Oxygen OS. Floating windows on Color OS. How could you say Oxygen is better? I understand. Some of y'all just be, you know, mm. Some of y'all just be nitpicking, but come on, you, you look at that. Now I got the little folder right there on the top. I can bring this one back out. Boom, floating windows. Now let's try that one more time. Let's go to back to uh, Apple. No floating windows. Okay. Not a deal breaker, but just one of the differences between Color OS and Oxygen OS. And this is the thing about OS's with Fun Touch OS and, you know, uh, One UI. All of these Android phones are basically the same as far as the chipset and Android software, but the OS is what makes the phone different. Now, if you got a Pixel, it's basically Google stock Android OS. Basically as stock as you could get. Motorola, close to stock. But phones like Vivo and Xiaomi and Samsung, the OS is what really separates them from other Android phones. Now, I'm, I, I, <laughs> I've been saying a lot of words today without getting tongue-tied. I'm very impressed with myself. <laughs> I, had to, I had to take a second and pat myself on the back because if you don't, who will? Right, nobody, y'all ain't even gonna notice that. Anyway, it's, it's, it's more of an internal thing, man. A lot of words that I just said that usually tongue tie me, I just got through that. I don't even know why I had to take a second and celebrate that, but celebrate, look, in life, you gotta celebrate small wins. I don't, don't only celebrate the big wins, celebrate small wins. That's one of my New Year's resolutions. Okay, so we see now our web browsing speed. Let's check the um, dual speakers. So we take it over to YouTube. Let me pull up my test video. Of course, y'all know what's coming. We got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy Mark Rubier. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality in the sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound? Now? These speakers sound good. Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass in it? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? No issues at all with the speakers. Definitely flagship level quality. How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound? If you cover up the bottom. Look how loud the top is. The bottom is fully covered. Has a full rich sound to it. I like it. Ah. 
ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. And on a side note, let me give a special shout out to Mark. I seen the Fitbit commercial last night. That man is out here doing big things. Now, let's check this beautiful AMOLED display. Okay, I'm gonna pull up one of my test videos. Let's get um 1080p. Okay. Look at this display. Now, little punch hole camera. Maximum niche brightness. So you're getting excellent viewing angles. Look at that. The picture doesn't disappear at all. Y'all know some, some phones, as soon as I go like this, the picture completely disappears. So that means you don't have to be sitting right in front of the phone. You can hold it a little bit to the side. If you got it like this, you can see it in ang any angle. Basically bezel-less. This is beautiful. I, the display is so vibrant. I love it. And of course, I want to give away a phone, so I'm going to say the phone is super bright. All right, who's keeping score? Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do a little bit of gaming. Okay, we got Asphalt 9 queued up. Now, I know this part of the video is repetitive, but you might be getting ready to drop 900 bucks for a phone. You want to see how gaming looks in real, real life. Here's how it does. Now, I know somebody's going to say, well, I'll play Call of Duty. I don't know how to play Call of Duty. I'm sorry. I know how to play Asphalt 9. And my motto is stick to what you know. Okay? Now, look how smooth this is. I'm going to bust a 360. Bound dead. Oh, double three. Oh, oh, I'm on two wheels. That was kind of sick. Okay. i never seen that before. Bust a 360. That kind of slowed me down a little bit. I'll wrap him up out of it. Oh, I missed my jump. Okay, am I in first or what? Let's bust some more 360s. This is how your game is going to look. I'm trying to get it to lag. No matter what, I couldn't get it to lag. Okay? Asphalt 9, no issues. And like I always say, if you can run Asphalt 9, you can run any game in the Android market. And again, let me just repeat that just in case y'all couldn't hear me over the game volume. I know parts of these videos are repetitive, but I can't just say, okay, game, there's no issues. Let's keep it moving. Some of y'all want to see for yourself. All right? and I, I don't like to talk about it. I like to be about it. I know you've seen Asphalt 9 a thousand and one times. Just go like this in your screen and skip this part if you don't care. But somebody out there does care. The same thing, I took a poll the other day. I said, should I skip the settings when I do my unboxings? And the majority of people said, no, they want to see the settings. They're getting ready to spend money. They want to see what they're getting into. And that's why I got to cater to the majority of people. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. Of course, you got your world star hip hop button. Grab the phone, press the power button twice. Bang, that'll take you right to your camera. Start taking your photos. All right, so let's go through the different shooting modes. You got night mode, and from night mode, you could do wide angle all the way up to, oh, check this out. In night mode, you got 30 times zoom. That's pretty impressive, 30 times zoom on night mode. Now, if you notice the orange shutter button, that's a Hasselblad exclusive. You got videos, now videos, you got wide angle all the way up to 10 times on your video as far as resolution. You got 8K, and then you got 4K, 60 frames per second, all the way down the line. You got regular photos, wide angle, all the way up to 30 times zoom. All right, so that's a nice scumbag zoom. You got portrait mode, close, or a little bit further away, and you can change your bokeh effect. And you got pro mode, panorama, you got movie, slow motion, time lapse, long exposure, Dual video, that's you and the subject at the same time. You got the fisheye, all right, that's um, 150 degrees. It's gonna give you that fisheye angle. You got tilt shift, and you got X-Pan. Now, like I said, I don't like to talk about the photos. I want you to see for yourself. So take a look at these test pictures and videos, and keep an eye on the night shots. Hit me up in the comments and let me, let me know what y'all think about the night shots. Personally, I think they look good. Okay, I think they look good. I don't think they look bad at all. Not enough for me to even mention it. All right, and not enough for me to take off any points from my uh, or add it to my dislike list. I think the night photos are just fine. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think.
So now let's talk about battery life, no issues. You can easily rock this for eight hours with no problems. And you got that 65 watt fast charge, zero to 58% in 15 minutes, zero to 100% in about 40 minutes. Okay, so no issues with the battery. You can use this all day at work. Now let me wrap this video up with my favorite segment, the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you just dropped 900 bucks on the phone. How does it work in the real world? Let's find out. Now this phone does have wireless charge and reverse wireless charge. So that means you can use a wireless charger. If you got another phone or you got some AirPods, you can charge them up right on the back of the phone. Now, when you wake up, since you do have a wireless charge phone, you're gonna have a wireless charger. You have always on display. Not my favorite, but you do see the time, the date, the battery percentage, and you see my notifications. Now all I gotta do is wake up, grab it. I don't even gotta touch anything, just look at it and bang, right into the home display. As usual, first we'll check the weather. Okay, 57 degrees, mostly cloudy. Tomorrow looks like thunderstorms. Let me slap an umbrella in the bag. Now swipe over, 
Go to my Google Home feed, see what's cracking in the world. Okay, one plus 10. Google Fi uh, price drops, how big? Best budget cinema cameras under 500 bucks. That's out of my price range. All right, Jerry Seinfeld's net worth, he probably got about a billy. Jerry Seinfeld's probably worth about a billy. Okay, AirPod Pros, how to fix your Android's Pro battery. Okay, Vivo foldable phone. Okay, now somebody asked me to review the Vivo foldable phone. I'm looking on eBay as soon as I find one. If I can find it less than 3,000 bucks, because that's the only reason you haven't seen the Honor foldable phone, because I'm not dropping 3,000 bucks on it. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. My, my pockets just won't allow me to spend 3,000 bucks on a foldable phone that's not gonna get 5G. I can't do it. Okay, let's see, you got some, uh, let's see, the most advanced earplugs, okay. DHL cargo jet breaks in half during emergency landing. This is the kind of things I don't want to see <laughs> because I travel a lot. Okay, anyway, uh, KD, KD's hairline. Okay, <laughs> no. okay, exit out of that. All right, so that's the current events. Now, the next thing I do usually when I wake up, I take it right to Gmail. And I just want to show you all something real quick. Since this is Android 12, you got all your famous Android 12 widgets. Did I say famous? <laughs> I meant to say favorite. You got all your favorite Android widgets. So there's my Snapchat. Got my calendar. You see all my events lined up. Of course, let's see. I was listening to some music. Listen to some B-Love. I was rocking some B-Love, you know. Got my Google briefing. And of course, my updates. So, boom. First thing I want to do, take it over to Gmail. Let me just log in real quick. Okay. Now I'm in Gmail. Okay, now confirm your subscription. I can hit reply. No thanks. Okay, bong and send. Okay, that's how your Gmail is going to look. Okay, go through all your Gmails. That's my work segment of the day. And again, I just love this uh, Gmail widget. And with using the pixel, I love how it automatically changes colors. That's pretty dope. Okay, next, after that, now that we did the work part of the day, let's have a little fun. Let's take it over to Twitter. Okay, take it over to the mentions. And let's see what's going down. Okay, Samsung Semiconductor. Now check this out. They got biometrics payments made, sa uh, made safer. Okay, look at this. Samsung got a little credit card with a fingerprint sensor on it. Woo, okay, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Okay, I like it so much. I'll screenshot it and post it and act like I found it. <laughs> now, shout out to Tyler. I'm going to give you the credit where credit is due. All right? Good looking on that one, Tyler. I've never seen that. Let's see. Uh, I need this device to get away. So, okay, let's see. Um, this is better off than the previous one. Okay, keep it moving. Let's see. Somebody got the uh, speaking cases. Okay. Now, y'all see me review this speaker, the Party Box Encore Essential. This speaker is so beast. I right, had 300 bucks, total win. I had it in the bed with me the other day. Now look, I'll be doing some savage shit. Usually I'll be having a big party box 310 in the bed with me. You know what I'm saying? When I want to get into my little music modes. But I had two of these in the bed with me. It just was blowing my mind crazy. And it takes up a lot less space than two party box 310s in the bed. That's like a whole body. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's see. This is to our UAG Monarch. Okay. Now look, somebody said this is another scam. Now, we got to keep talking about these scam videos. I made a full scam video. I'm not going to keep talking about this, okay? I leave my scam video in every one of my pinned comments now. But if you see, you see my name right there with the big check mark, and then somebody with Telegram me. I, well, you know, if you why would, you, why would I have two different accounts on the same video? You know, it doesn't even make sense. But I know this guy, was he, he wasn't getting caught with it. He was just showing it to me, but... Come on, this is com common sense, y'all. You see one name right there with a big check mark, and then another name that says Telegram me. I have a package for you out of nowhere. Come on, man, y'all. Come on, man. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Oppo Find X5 Pro. Woo! My number two favorite Android phone. He got it in Dark Vader Black. I love it. That's how your Twitter's gonna look. Next, let's take it over to Facebook. Now, let's see. I hope I don't get depressed looking at Facebook. The Facebook people be posting a lot of fatalities, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, Facebook is not a happy a happy spot these days. Now, let's see. I got the Obama Wi-Fi, so my pictures are taking long to load. That could be a good thing. See, look. My cousin, you will truly be missed. Let's see. Am I on the right Wi-Fi down here? Yeah, I'm on the, I'm on the Obama Wi-Fi. <laughs> I got to switch over to the George Biden, the George, the, the, the Joe Biden, the Sleepy Joe Wi-Fi. Yo. All right, let's see. Uh, we got. <laughs> I know, I know. 
I know. No disrespect to Joe Biden. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, he do be out here looking crazy, though. Joe Biden be out here looking crazy. Anyway. All right, anyway, so Facebook is my picture's taking long to load up. We're, gonna, we're just going to scrap that. Take it over to TikTok. Okay. Now, let's um. Let's hit the volume on this. Okay. Let's see what's going down on TikTok. All right, meanwhile, on the train in New York City. Now, if y'all see this big dude right here, you already know what's getting ready to happen. It's about to be some zesty dancing. And, and my dude has on the purple, the purple, purple sweater. So, you know, he about to get real zesty, yeah, real spicy. I, I do not condone this big man activity. I right? big, big dudes is not supposed to be moving this zestfully. Yeah? I'm, I'm, I'm just saying as one big man to another, this is not how we give it up. OK, so we got some pet videos. I like to see that. OK, I don't know what this is. But it's um, taking too long. I got a lot of stuff like this. My attention span is very short. Okay, this is all right, kind of cute. All right, I was about to say, because, you know, I'll be scrolling immediately. All right, so we got another one. Come on, all right. Kevin, Hart, Hertz, Kevin Hart's first time cussing. Do y'all say cursing or cussing? Black people say cussing. You ever notice that? A lot, of, have you, a lot of people say cursing. Black people say cussing. Don't cuss me out. Okay, somebody got the iPhone, uh, the peasant version. Let's see. Uh, I got the big. Uh, this is a lot. This is a. This is a lot, yo, bro. You gotta make two trips. <laughs> I'm sorry. You gotta make two trips. I know. I know. Cause I personally, I probably would have done the same. No, I ain't trying to make two trips if I don't have to. But this is a little bit overkill. All right. Got some old ladies. Okay. Li living the life. <laughs> I, I. I only wish I could be this old, having this amount of fun with my BFF, my Biff. Okay. You got Elmo out here. He's probably talking real ratchet. Okay, my dude got the beard. He got the goat beard. Okay, that's the um the, the Skyrim beard. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I like that. My man right here, Z. He, he have he have a problem with uh Sleepy Joe. <laughs> yo, yo. One thing about Donald Trump, whether you love him or hate him, he know he know how to give out a nickname, yo. He know how to give he know how to name somebody. Yo. <laughs> remember, remember, remember uh, what was it? Lion Ted Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, that that man is pure entertainment, man. Lion Ted Cruz and Little Marco. Yeah, I know you, you might be like, "Oh, those names are stupid," but you notice how they they just stuck. They just stuck. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, okay, so this is how your TikTok is gonna look. Ain't really nothing going on too much. What's he throwing some butter, at shorty? Throw some butter. At her? Okay. Anyway, so that's the TikTok. I have more zestly, more zestly activities. Zestfully clean. Remember, you're not fully clean unless you're zestfully clean. That's this right here. This is being zestfully clean. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's take it over to the gram now. Okay. Now the gram could get the gram could get dangerous. Let me clear my throat. <clears throat> get ready. Okay. People on social media debate. 100k a year is a lot of money. Is 100k a lot of money? Not if you live in New York City. Right, if you live in New York City, a hundred thousand dollars a year is not a lot of money. It's enough that you won't be in poverty, but you're not gonna really be balling like that. Trust me. <laughs> I live in New York. Trust me. All right, my man, tight shirt Terry, tightest shirts in the game. Now, when Terry go to buy shirts, he got to buy them shits. It, it, he got to get custom made shirts. You, you, you can't just buy that from the Gap. Maybe the baby Gap. But you got to go you, you gotta go to the tailor and be like, look, I got a size medium shirt. I want size small arms or the medium shirt. We call that schmedium, all right? Tight shirt Terry with the schmedium shirt. That's my guy, though, yo. Schmedium. Okay. Now, this is not too bad. That's not too bad. This is a family show. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so we got some skits. I don't really have attention span for the skits too much. Dog activities. I like that. This dog right. All right, that's a real dog right there. She got that man trained. That man. She got that. She got that dog trained. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, backup cameras. All right, again, more skits. Eddie Murphy. See now, remember in that last video I told y'all, yo, if Will Smith. What a, he he wouldn't have tried that with this Eddie Murphy for the, when you the, the Eddie Murphy from these days, I right, the Eddie Murphy raw days and the Eddie Murphy, yo know, when he was wearing the leather suits like this, you was not slapping Eddie Murphy at, at this stage. Trust me, I forgot what concert this was, um, but this I think this was the one before our uh, raw, but this was equally as funny. <laughs> this was the, with the hamburger joke. All right, Floyd Mayweather. Uh, he wanted the goats. I got to like that. Let me like Eddie and Eddie too. This is a nice page too. If you old school, it's called eighties, nineties era. Got a lot of classic stuff on there. Okay. Anyway, so let's let's kind of wrap this up. Let's see. Let's see anything else. Shaq. 
Shaq is another big man that be moving around. But Shaq, you notice when Shaq do it, he don't look too spicy. Right? He don't look he don't look too zesty. All right, Shaq moves like how big dudes are supposed to move, all stiff, stiff and rugged. All right? He don't look, you don't, you don't look too zesty. All right, my man, Demonology. All right, he want to race me, but um, <laughs> I'm capping on that race because look, look, this man, I am putting up numbers. All right, I am capping on that race. All right, let's see, we got dog videos with Sports Center. Make sure y'all follow Sports Center. They be having some dope highlights. Okay, let's. <laughs> Maximum groin injuries right there. Okay, politics. Let me go ahead and skip that. Anyway, so that's how your Instagram is going to look. Now, I'm trying to see. You got to pinch the zoom, of course. All right, Calvin, I was trying to find something. It uh, looks like um, all of the thoughts. Is, it might be kind of early in the day. Not too much thought activity. Can I get a full scroll with no thought activity? Okay, now they're okay. This is a family. No. This is a family. No. All right, anyway, I know. I just had to get that out. I had to get that out. Let me get and wrap this up. So overall, on a scale of one to ten, the OnePlus 10 Pro, I'm giving this phone a major, major, major go. Like I said, my only disgripes, <laughs> disgripes, my only gripes is, I, you know, there's not enough storage to be 900 bucks, but... If you're a hardcore OnePlus fan, that extra 100 bucks ain't really gonna kill you. You're gonna love this phone. It's super smooth, super reliable. Now I said super, I said I wasn't gonna say super too many more times, so I will be doing a giveaway during my next stream. I'm gonna call it the super giveaway. <laughs> All right, so, so I'm, I'm, somebody remind me in the comment section, don't forget about the super giveaway. I actually have four Redmi Note 11s. I'm gonna give away all four of those in my next stream. Four Redmi Note 11s. I, now, I don't know how I got four. Somebody in the shipping department messed up, but I got four of them, and I'm giving all of them away. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Battery life, excellent. Fast charging speeds, quad HD display, wireless charge, reverse wireless charge, excellent cameras, beautiful display, excellent speakers, top of the line processors. This is definitely a triple major go. I just wish it had more RAM, more storage, Okay, and a cheaper price tag. Now, if it would have had a little bit more storage, I wouldn't even mention the price tag. It would have been perfect, 900 bucks. Because if you think about it, I spent 1100 bucks on the Chinese version just so I could get it a little bit early. Remember, I had this one in maybe February. I had this one pretty early, imported from China. So I had to pay the import tax. So I spent 1100 bucks, but this one does have 256 gigs of storage. All right, so if anybody want to buy this one, hit me up. All right, it's basically the same, but you're not going to get that 5G activity. This is a triple major go for sure. All right, and then if you're a OnePlus lover, OnePlus is back in the game. Number one on my list, Galaxy S22. Number two, Oppo Find. Number three, I'm going with the, what did I say, number three, Xiaomi 12 Pro. This is my number four favorite Android phone. Then after this, Vivo, then everything else. Okay? Now, I know somebody's going to ask if I had to choose this or the Galaxy, I'm gonna have to go with the Galaxy because of that customizable always on display, Samsung Dex, Samsung wireless Dex. You know, this one is just more my style. Some of y'all don't care about all those, uh, if you wanna call them gimmicks. Some of y'all just want the stock smooth OnePlus experience, and this is it. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me, all y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. And pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock won the beam up.
everybody in the world uses technology. And if you're gonna buy some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.